it's uh, today. We're gonna go try this new restaurant called Pho Lee. And uh, just wanted to tell you that my friends who are Vietnamese, one of them's already tried it. And of course he didn't like it. Of course he didn't like it. I have never met a Vietnamese person that actually likes Vietnamese restaurants. They always criticize it. Look, because nothing <laughs> is as good as your mom's cooking. Nothing. Nothing. So my advice is don't ever ask your Vietnamese friends which Vietnamese restaurant is good because they're never going to tell you anything's good. And for my Vietnamese friends watching this, you know it's true. I kind of feel like that's all Asian culture. <laughs> like when I tell when someone asks me what's a good Thai restaurant, I'm mm. like, these are the all right ones. But that's because I'm comparing it to my mom's cooking. Are you? Yeah. My you are. Bomb. I know. His mom does this little thing. She's really cute. She makes really good Thai food. But she gives us sometimes her friend's food, which is, is not, not very good. good. <laughs> and then she acts surprised when I don't like it. And then she's like, well, I didn't make that. And I'm like, yeah, I know you didn't make it. I could tell you didn't make it. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you at the Pho Lee. So apparently I uh, made a mistake on the name of the restaurant. It's called La Pho. Like the French La Pho. But we might get there and maybe it'll be Pho Pho or Pho Lee. But Josh probably got a mistake with like Lee sandwiches. Because mm -hmm. why? It's a common Vietnamese last name. Mm -hmm. Right? Lee's a common Vietnamese last name, right? Lee's a common name, period. There's a lot of white Lee's. They copied us. Did they copy you? They copied us. Did white people copy Asian people with Lee? Yeah. You guys have Smith and all that other stuff. Jones. <laughs> Stick with what you know. Stick with what you know. Just kidding. JK, I'm not racist. <laughs> You're not? It's not at all. Never. All right. All right, we're almost here. We're almost there. And what's it? Uh, what's the name? Is it? What's the name gonna be? Luffa. Luffa. We're gonna see. Here it is. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Ben, you are right. Yeah. It's Luffa. Leifa. Leifa. Ah, look at this. Hey, there's nobody here. Okay. Nobody's here. Let's go in and get some food. Let's see if we can eat here. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Hi. Can we eat on the patio or inside? Are you going to do what I eat here? Yeah. Is it inside or outside? Okay. Can we eat inside? Inside or outside? We'll inside. It's, yeah. All right, where do you want to sit? Where do you want us to sit? Yeah, uh-huh. Anywhere. Anywhere, let's see. Yeah. yeah. Wow, we got a nice menu here. Look at that. I love fish. I love fish. We're doing the LA nice seating area. Beautiful patio. We're gonna eat now. I'm gonna turn this off until we go to food. All right, here's our food. Looks really good here. Peanut sauce, sriracha, oyster sauce. This is a spring rolls of chicken and shrimp. Shredded that shit looks, looks really good. Looks pretty fresh. What do you think? It looks very good. I can't wait to eat it. We'll eat it. Let's see. You did. You have a bite. Go ahead. Dan is gonna take a bite here. Nobody wants to see me eat solid. People rather see Ben eat. Do they? Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you guys right now, my mouth is like smaller than the average person, so I'm gonna struggle a little to put this in my mouth, but we'll see. Actually, I should say my mouth is smaller than the average person. It's just small. But a lot of, it, a lot of noise comes out of it. A lot of noise comes out of Josh's mouth, too, unfortunately. <laughs> mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Ah. Look at that. I guess I have to try it now. So I'm gonna turn this off while I eat it, because I don't think you need to see me eat it. <laughs>
All right, we got our food. Ben got a fish pho. Yes, and I got a green spoon. My favorite color. It's favorite color. Go ahead and try it. So I didn't put anything in here yet, just because I want to see what it tastes like without anything. Oh, the broth is really good. Is that good? Yeah. Try mine. So I got the beef. I got uh, pho back dia. Pho back dia. Check it out. Here's mine. Yep. There's my condiments. And we got, we tear it into these. The, the spring rolls are very good. So now we're just going to eat and we'll see you when we're done eating. Say bye, Ben. Bye. So we're all done here. Food. Ben, almost finished. You may eat all the noodles and the meat. And then I did what I always stupidly do. I ate everything, everything, which means that my stomach is ultra full. Ben, on the other hand, feels comfortable over there. I feel really full. Cool. Do you? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but you can see we made, we didn't leave a lot for the birds. All right, so we just got done with, we can take these off. We'll come on here and let somebody walks by. <clears throat> we just got done with Le Pho. I had a Pho Dak Beet, which is a pretty... It's a combination beef Pho. I... brisket, tendon, mm. right? Tendon yeah. Loin, whatever. And all, all, all the cows in there, the whole cow. It was... see the cow was in there. Yeah, the whole later. cow. I ate the whole cow. <laughs> I feel like a cow, actually, right now, because I ate all the liquid, too. Drank all the liquid, which means I'm extra full but i would say it's very good mm -hmm. i mean i'm not going to tell you i'm going to tell you if you want some fun it's excellent i thought it was yeah, excellent it was very good i yeah. got the pho fish fish is my favorite because um i don't feel guilty eating it yeah it was very good it's uh kind of remind me of like pho, if anyone's gone to pho 2000 in like i don't Korea know town it's in western on western no, boulevard not that one. Oh, the one off artesia off the 91 i don't know what city that is like cerritos ish um, if anyone's been to that for 2000, if you went to Long Beach State, you've definitely been to that for 2000. Mm -hmm. It's like similar to that, very good, very authentic tasting. It was good. It was good. I definitely, it's new, it's clean, it's, it, it, it was good service. Yes. If you're Vietnamese, don't go there with your mom's expectations. Like, oh, this doesn't taste like my home cooking meal. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about, Nothing you Vietnamese people. Nothing tastes like people. a home cooked meal, though. <laughs> huh? Nothing tastes like a home meal in a restaurant. I like, know, but when you go out with certain people, they always say, they always those are the expectations. They expect it to taste like whatever flavor they're chasing. They're used to is like every restaurant you go to has its own unique flavor. My hint to anyone who's like that that's chasing a home cooked meal: just add fish sauce. It will taste home cooked real fast. Fish. That is true. If you add fish sauce, oyster sauce. What's the other one we have? The say the say ooh sauce. Say ooh. Say ooh. Say ooh. Say ooh. Yeah. Close. <laughs> I'm stuffed. I'm really stuffed. This is a beautiful neighborhood we're walking yeah, through. Yeah, look at this neighborhood. This is really. Look at this. Yeah. Look at all this homes here. I know. It's like suburban in a city. You oh, wouldn't even know you're in West Hollywood, huh? No. Until you see the R8 pass that says WeHo on it. And what's R8 mean? It means, I don't know what's called. It means if you don't have a pass that says R8, you're going to get a ticket. And if you're near certain parts of WeHo, you're going to get to... Joshua, get me a house over here. This is cute. What is this? Like yeah, yeah. Like a duplex. Like All this is... Half. They just did, huh? Yeah, that's cool. That oh. picnic area, look at this cute. There's like a variety of homes here. There's like a Mediterranean looking one, a Spanish looking one, Italian looking one. Alright, well we're gonna, I'm gonna turn this off, but I'm full. Thanks for watching. Maybe we'll be back on in a moment. I always say thanks for watching and I turn it back on. Yes, true. What's the poll? I forgot to tell you guys something. 
So Ben and I met during the pandemic, which I think we've talked about before. But here's the weird part. I just realized this is our first time going out to a restaurant. Going out to a restaurant. You can take off your mask. Oh. Your... Show me your beautiful face. face. So this is our first time going out to a restaurant since this pandemic began. Since we started dating. Yeah. We so, started in like what? July. We met July 25th. It was a COVID romance that has that keeps on romancing away. Yes. So isn't that crazy? Strange. Alright, thanks for watching again. Well tell them about the, the restaurant that it will used to be something else. Oh okay, hold on. Okay, here's something really strange. <laughs> Apparently oops, okay. Here's something really strange. So apparently this place used to be called Bamboo Lay Pho and or, they were Pho Lay Bamboo. No, no, it was I think it was Bamboo or Lay. Yeah, it was what do you say? Pho Lay Bamboo. Pho Lay Bamboo. Uh, and it was actually in a different location. And I had went there before when it was over there, and I really didn't enjoy it. But and I, they, moved, they probably got you know they got got rid of bamboo, whatever that basic is. And now it's amazing. <laughs> it, it definitely was a lot better than I remember. So that's you know, just kind of a little side caveat. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye again. Thanks for watching again. Goodbye. <laughs>